Hi guys, Barnaby for Spurred On, and this is the first in a brand new show called Match Preview Battle. Let me explain a little bit. In each episode, we will be previewing the coming game. However, it will be a battle between the two players. In this one, Craig Mitch to my right, and Reese James to my left. They will be earning points based on how close they get to the actual team that is selected in the game, what the score prediction is and the score is. They'll be earning points for that as well. And also for Premier League games, they will be earning points for predicting the other games of the teams around us and how that will affect the league table. In the following week's show, we will then tell you how close each player got in the previous week and show you the league table between Craig and Reese and Emma, who will be doing other match preview battles as well. So, boys, can I just say before we start, can I check that neither of you know each other's predictions or team selections? No, correct. Okay, so let's get this started. I'm gonna to start to my left. This is, of course, for the Dortmund game on Thursday night, Europa League second leg. We're three nil down on aggregate from the first leg at the Westenfallen Stadion. Horrible night, I was there. Uh, so first up, Reese, what is your score prediction and who will score in the second leg against Dortmund? Two on to Spurs. Interesting. Yeah, I think uh, we might get two goals relatively early, but once, that makes sense. as soon as they get an away goal, we'll, our heads will drop and we'll stop playing because we'd have to win 5-1, mm -hmm. which uh, won't happen. I think Son and Lamella will be our scorers. Okay, so you think that it'll be a stronger side picked by Pochettino? I do think it'll be slightly stronger, yes. Um, I think Lamella's obviously quality, he scores a lot in the Europa League, yeah. uh, and Son has history against Dortmund. Okay. And I think Kagawa will score for them. Oh, interesting, because I'm not, I'm not planning on giving any points for away scorers, but I like the way okay. you've done that. Well, I think they'll play a slightly weaker side, but they've got Kagawa in a weaker side, so uh, I think and, he will score against us. And is it just coincidence that Kagawa is the only one of their players who's played in England before, so therefore you know him, or is that just... No, I know a lot of their players. <laughs> I like FIFA. Okay, he's a good fan of FIFA. Okay, so that is Reese's uh, score prediction and scores. He's gone for 2-1 Spurs. He's gone for Sun and uh, you, who was the other one you went Lamella. for? Lamella. Sun and Lamella and Kagawa for Dortmund, just for a bonus point there. Interesting. Yeah. I'll go to you, Craig. What's your score prediction and scores? Um, mine is 2-1 as well. Okay. Yep, 2-1 as well. I don't think we're going to get two early goals. I think we're going to score, then they're going to score, and then we're going to get one, but by then it's going to be too late. Yeah. Uh, the scorers for me are Son and Chadley. <laughs> That's what I'm going for. I think Chadley, well, we'll get to where Chadley's playing, but yeah, I think Chadley's going to get a goal. And Son's got a phenomenal record against Dortmund, so I think he's going to get a goal as well. Just, I can sense the competitiveness already in this. This is great. Yeah. Thank God I came up with this idea. And I actually, uh, and I actually, uh, I predicted who would score for them, and I said Obama Yang. Obama Yang, okay, well, that seems to yeah. be like a more likely uh, prediction. I will well, give a bonus disagree. point if either of you get that right, seeing as you both picked Likely going to be in me. Fact, let's, in fact, now that we're just playing with the format as we do it, let's just do that every week now we'll, we'll do who, who's going to score for the away score as well why not we'll play for extra points okay so we're going to go team selections now uh craig mitch i'll come to you first let's go through your team selection for the spurs uh, all right so in goal hugo Lloris. i don't know where warm is i don't care right back kieran trippier hold uh center half toby kevin vimmer left back ben davis so i think he's going to keep the same full backs in because we've got bournemouth at home on the weekend. Mm -hmm. Holding midfield, I think it's going to be Dyer. He's going to bring Dyer back in. Okay. He's going to have to play a few games that week. And Mason, I think Mason's going to stay there. I don't think he's going to play Dembele. I just don't know if Dembele is fit enough. He tends to pick up knocks and stuff, yeah. and he has a lot of faith in Mason. So I'm going with Dyer and Mason. On the right, I think he's going to play Son. Okay. On the left, I think he's going to play Lamella. So I think Lamella's going to come back into the side. Good uh, Europa League record. Mm -hmm. In the hole is going to be Ericsson, mm -hmm. and then up top, he's, I think he's going to stick with Chadley. Okay, and uh, just to ask, you know, do you think Chadley played well in the first leg? Do you think? I think he was horrible, but <laughs> but to be fair, I mean, we weren't great as a unit. No, it didn't make I don't sense. think Chadley is a striker. I've been saying this constantly, yeah. um, but I just think Poch is going to do it. I think he's he's realised now that it's it's far beyond us. And if he had faith in this team to do it in the first leg away, why yeah. wouldn't he have faith to do it? In you know the second leg at home, yeah. so I, I think he's going to stick with Chadley. You have up front. brought in a few more of the of the kind of first team players. Yeah, Dia, Lamella. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's interesting. Uh, Reese James, how does that differ from your your team selection? Very little, but uh, I'm going to make some changes. Okay. I don't want to draw. So uh, there's no point in me saying the same team as Craig. It wasn't exactly well, have, the same. Have anyway. you written? No. If it uh, read it. So we know that it's what you wrote. Why do I have to? Why so do we know it's what you wrote. Why do you aren't altering it in your mind? You've got to read it out from your cards. What is your team selection? Okay. So 
I agree that I think it won't be a full strength side, but it will be stronger than last time. All right, I get to the team. My back five is the same. Larice Trippier, Vimmer, Toby, Davies. Okay, centre mid. I'm going Mason mm-hmm. yeah. and Dembele. Ah, interesting. So that's yeah. not happening. So. You've, gone, you've, you've left Dyer out. Point, I've left Dyer out. Interesting. Left that's Dyer where out. a point could be gained or lost. Then, in the interchangeable three, mm-hmm. so I'm not going to assign the positions. Do I need to do that? No, what? no. Why not? No, no, he doesn't it's need to assign the They position. all mix around. All right, it's okay, about, all right, it's about cool. the, the names, not the, not the exact positioning. Okay. okay. I'm going for Lamella, mm-hmm. Son, mm-hmm. and Chadley. Chadley in the three behind. Interesting. So who's going to play up front? Clint, Harry Kane. Harry Kane. <laughs> Harry Kane. Harry Kane. And the reason I'm putting Harry Kane is because I think Harry Kane is going to be knocking on Poch's office door saying, you so have you to play So you think he's going to drop Christian Eriksen? You have to play him in this game. The engine that is Christian Eriksen that yeah. just runs silent. All right. Okay, guys. All right. Good. Bring Story, bro. Okay, I think good. he'll bring Eriksen Calm on down, 60th everyone. minute. Calm down, everyone. It's good. They've got slightly different teams. That means there are points there to be won and lost. That's good. Okay. We're going to go to a little bit now just away from the competitive element. I'm going to ask you for uh, personal memories of where you were when we got absolutely demolished last week about Dortmund. What do you remember of it? You know, what happened? So I'll go to Craig first because he, he's already on edge. I can sense it. Uh, all right. So I was at my friend Youngen. He's an artist. His video shoot with Poet. You may <laughs> remember Poet. And Poet, I wanted to go home and watch it because I like to watch Spurs at home. Poet's an Arsenal game. fan. So that was, that was weird. Yeah. You? And then Poet dragged me to kick bar in, in Hoxton and we sat down and it, every time I watch a game with Poet, Spurs don't do well. I, there's just this little thing, I don't know why, but I knew it wasn't going to be good and as soon as I saw the team lineup, he showed it to me, he goes, look, here's the team lineup and I was just like, this is ridiculous, I knew it was going to get bad. And then I just remember, you know, Marco Royce completely dominating yeah. us, uh, yeah. Mkhitaryan running the midfield, Aubameyang being a threat. So, well, Cafe, oh. Cafe Kit, where he went to, is a great uh, table football bar. Did you uh, drown your sorrows as you were going along with beers? You're not much of a drinker, No, drink beer, I don't you? drink. So I, I, I was just literally there with, with a Coke and just... I've been out yeah. in Munich with him. I mean, he doesn't yeah. drink, but he has drunk before. That's for sure. OK, uh, Reese, what about you? Where were you, where were you watching? Uh, I was doing a gig in Balham, so I was working, so I wasn't. Stand-up comedy. Didn't watch the Spurs, is that what you're saying? Uh, I was s- trying to stream it in the moments I wasn't on stage, okay. and then I went on stage visibly furious. How did the, how did the gig go? Uh, yeah, it was fine, but I mean, like, it was a lot angrier than normal. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but when I saw the team lineup, I was like, thank God I'm not having to put myself through this. Fair enough. And then I came off stage and just had a text from my brother saying, at least we're in a box for the... Let me just say, if I was if I was uh, if I was giving points out for this bit, then Craig would have won, points, Craig would have won a point because at least he watched the game. But I know, you know mate. It's your some job, of us I have suppose. got jobs to do. I suppose okay? it's, uh, some it's people job. need laughter. Okay, and I do the noble job of supplying that. <laughs> okay. okay. Uh, next thing, I, I want you, if possible, to give me a stat each, something yeah. relevant to Spurs or the game itself. So I'll come to Reese first this time. What's your, what's your stat you've got for the audience? Uh, the last. Uh, leg was the first time that we've conceded more than two goals this season and before that we're the only Premier League team not to have conceded three. That's a good stat based on our defence, the strength of our defence. Can I just say that reminds me perfectly of when the final whistle blew uh, Toby Alderweireld, I watched him, he stormed off the pitch like he was livid and you could just sense that he was like why have they stuck me with this bag of bones team he was livid about you know, Toby it Toby said a while ago when he first signed for Spurs he said it was much easier at Southampton because I had one Yama in front of me right Right, and then and we weren't playing Dyer there yet. Right, yeah, yeah. And then Dyer became a quality yeah. CDM, and now he's going. Oh, this is great. Yeah. But he was going. This is but, so much harder. But without Dyer, that's that's With the Mason thing. And Carroll, it's about those four, going, isn't it? Larice, Alderweireld, Dyer, Ali, <coughs> Kane. That's five. I've just said. So it's not just about the four, but the spine for me. Okay, Craig. What about you? What's your stat? Uh, we had two shots on goal, and that's the lowest of any game this season against any team. Yeah. Two shots. Yeah. Actually, it wasn't even just two shots on goal. It was two shots throughout the whole match, and they happened to both be on goal. Yeah. But yes, yeah, the lowest yeah. of any to team me that, season. And one of those was in about the 37th second or something, wasn't it? Ericsson, I was still stuck outside the ground at that point, watching, um, there was a crush going on, but I was about 15 rows back, and up in the corporate bit of the outside of the um, Best Found Stadium, there was a plasma showing the game miles away, but I could just about see that Christian Eriksen had had a shot. So, um, yeah, one of those was It just shows Dortmund absolutely dominated us. Okay, so that has been the match preview battle. For the Premier League games, uh, what would happen now is I would ask how the games uh, will affect the table for them to predict the other games. But this is obviously Europa League. I think I'm not going to ask them to predict whether we go go out or not because I think we know we probably are. Uh, so, uh, guys, let us know what you thought of the match preview battle. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and follow us on Twitter at Spurred on TV. And uh, also check out for next week's match preview battle or the next one where we will tell you, next week's one, we will tell you how many points these boys accrued and show you the early league table. Come on, you Spurs. 
Hello everyone and welcome to the New Look Spurverse, the show where we discuss everything Spurs from the week just gone. I'm here with Craig and Emma as usual. This week we've got a lot to get through. We're talking about the Dortmund team selection, the Villa performance, Kane's golden boot campaign, Lloris's potential poor form of late, Gomez slamming Arsenal and Vertonghen back in training for 